we're, we're you know we're, we're building it while we go is pretty much what Cassandra and I are doing. We had an idea from somewhere else, and then it's kind of uh, completely changing now. Look at this, you guys. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness, we got a completely white guinea fowl. All right, here we go. First one in the container. We got one. That's a lot. Two, three. Look at all your babies. All right, so. Look at all those babies. The 350 quails are pretty much all hatching. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch today, you guys. As you can see, we're doing a DIY project, and this is going to be a quail brooder box. This right here is going to be a spot to raise up our feeder quails for Blake's Exotic Feeders. So right here is going to be our spot to raise up our one to one week to two week old chicks right here. Then they'll move on to the next stage and you guys will see that in another video. So right now we're making the two stack of bull cages that are 57 by 37 inches uh, wide in length. And then we're going to go up around probably two and a half feet. So that'd be a perfect spot with a light heater and all that stuff for these birds to raise up. We're making two of them exactly the same size. So this can hold just about a hundred to two hundred one day old to one week old to two week old chicks once they are all about like two weeks old then we'll divide them up and put them on the second rack up this is the first starting of a brooder system that we have and we might be working with a company coming soon that we might be able to get a bunch of cages from them as well but for now we have to make our diy cages so follow along and you guys are gonna see everything once we're all done and it will make a lot more sense all righty so we got the bottom done, we got some of the legs done, we got one side done, we're gonna put another piece of plywood there, another piece of plywood there, another one there. That's gonna help for the barrier and all the waste from flying out to the sides, so it all contains and stays inside and drops into its tray. We're gonna add another cage, probably about right here or so, so it's gonna be just about that. And then it'll be up about you know a foot up as well. How this cage is gonna work, still gonna figure that out exactly. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're building it while we go, is pretty much what Cassandra and I are doing. We had an idea from somewhere else, and then it's kind of uh, completely changing now, because that's pretty much how all my projects work. Maybe we'll put the door over here, but I don't think that'd be good, right? I don't think so either. If anything, what we have to do, we'll cut out a little bit of this piece of plywood, a little square out, and we'll have the door right there, and it'll be simple, nice little mesh door, easy cheesy. But um, if you guys are enjoying these kind of videos, give this video a thumbs up. We have a big old mess over here, as you guys can see. We gotta pick it all up. Well, all this wood is gonna get used and placed inside of here, and then we're gonna lift this bad boy up and bring it inside the building. So let's keep on working. We've been working on this for about two hours now, right? Cutting, we have all the prep cut wood and all this stuff. And then between that to go for tortoises, you know, it's a process to build projects here on the ranch, but let's keep on working. All right, so we wanted to double stack it, but now that I'm looking at it, it might be too much of a pain in the butt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut off these extra pieces that we have. And then we're gonna use those extra pieces and everything else that we have to frame out the top. And then we'll have two pull up doors with springs on it. So it'll be easy to open and close it. So this will be a perfect grow out cage for all of my hatchlings. These guys will stay in here for about a week old to two weeks old. So about, you know, this big to about this big. And then they'll move on to their grow out pins. If we keep them or we're freezing them or whatever we're gonna have to do. But I think this is gonna be more than big enough to raise up at least 100 at a time inside of this cage without a problem. We'll show you guys the rest tomorrow. Next morning, started adding framing two by fours around it to make it real sturdy. As you can see, this thing is solid now, real good. And I just started cutting off the arms, the extra pieces that I thought I was gonna make it two stories, but I decided I not to. So I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna cut that off as well. And then we gotta make our doors. We're gonna make two big doors or maybe one door, I don't know. Maybe two doors, maybe one full door, and then we'll just put hydraulics on the side so it just opens right up easily. And then we'll be a nice giant brooder for these birds right inside of here. It's looking real, real good. I'm really happy with it. And I've done this whole entire project just about myself and my sister without any of my friends' help this time. So that's definitely a plus on my end, and I'm pretty happy about that. So we're actually putting these one by ones on the sides as well so we can fill in these little, these little gaps right there. So it's nice and sealed, as you can see. And we're doing good. I mean, this thing is freaking a solid structure right here and we have to make our tray spot so i'm what i'm thinking on doing is getting the extra pieces of two by four and coming down about maybe two inches to three inches and then running it across another two by four and the same thing on that side so our trays can get pulled out from the front and no poop or anything goes down and falls right onto our trays clean them out every couple days nice sanitary good enclosures for our one to two week old contorted quails i think this is gonna be really good make sure you guys are following blake's exotic feeders see updates on all of our quail things that we're doing and we are going to be going big we have a lot of quails coming in when you guys see this video we're gonna have a lot of stuff 
It's gonna be dope and we're having fun. Look at all your babies. All right, so. Look at all those babies. The 350 quails are pretty much all hatching. Cash, Kenya, I, and Cassandra behind the camera. We all help putting these eggs down right here and they're ready to get the heck out of there. They are crushing each other. And we finished our cage, our brooder system. We're gonna put our lights on, start collecting on count every single one and throw them inside and get them nice and warm and get them some water and some food. Let's get it going. All right, we're gonna open this bad boy up. You guys ready to grab? This is gonna be fun. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There is a lot. We're gonna count once we put them out of this container. So you can that's see some have, some have split legs because they're on the smooth area, but that's okay. They'll, they'll get oh, nice and solid once they go on the mesh. Nothing will be going to waste, you guys. If anything does uh, pass away, we put them in freezer bags today so that they're nice and fresh no matter what. Careful, they're gonna jump out from there. All right, let's stop right there for a second. Holy moly, we are filled up right now, you guys. Look at this, you guys. Insane. All right, here we go. First one in the container. We got one. That's a lot. Two, three, we have 12. So we have two lights on so that they're warm on both sides. We'll have waters on both sides as well. We're at 12 right now. We have a lot to go. 12, 13, 14, 15. So that right there was 76 eggs. As you guys saw, this brooder is a big size, but when you have 400 to 600 birds, it will be a small brooder. So that is the reason why we have extra wood, extra mesh, and we're definitely gonna be making another couple more because Cassandra and Kenya and my mom are like, oh, this thing is more than big enough. These birds will only be able to stay in here for about one week because they double in size very, very fast. They'll be almost just about this big in one week and they'll be already trying to jump out. We use a very, very small mesh that they're able to walk over this mesh without a problem. And our tray is on our way today. Look at these guys already flapping these wings, stretching their legs, doing what they have to do. They have warmth on both sides. The building is warm as well. They're looking absolutely amazing. That is a lot of quails and the whole bottom has filled up again. Oh my God, I think we have guineas that hatch too. When we see a guinea, we gotta know which one's a guinea. Oh, what's a guinea look like? Oh, really? <laughs> no, there's Oh, I see a guinea back there. Oh, yeah. We have a couple of guinea fowl that are happening as well. So we're gonna start figuring it out. We're gonna use this container as our measuring cup. And when we have chicks and it's filled up to the top, we know that's gonna be that many chicks. So right now, we're just at 76. Cassandra, start counting. Okay, well, I'm gonna count from one. Remember 76. 76, all right, I'll write down 76. I'm gonna start grabbing the water bowl. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Uh, we have seventy-six and eighty-four. What is that at? Anybody have a calculator? One sixty, but I can check. One sixty. I can check. All right. So okay. 176 and 84? 76 and 76 84. and 84. Put it on the calculator. 160. Damn, you good. You're you got smart, a, smart. We got 160 quails inside of here right now that are completely hatched perfectly. And we have a lot more to go. A lot more to go. Um, we're going to try to get the dry ones now. We'll probably wait one hour for them to, you know, make sure everybody's dry and then come back to get the rest because some are still wet, but we'll get all the dry ones first and start grabbing the better ones. Look at this, you guys. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness, we got a completely white guinea fowl. That is cool. We'll throw him inside with the quails. He'll just think he's a quail for today. That is dope. We'll put him in there. One, one different one. <laughs> Cash, what do you think about this? And as you guys see, we're hatching all these out right now. <laughs> In a day and a half, everybody will be hatched go. Everybody that doesn't hatch will throw away because they're obviously not gonna hatch. And then inside of the house right now, we have part two coming in. 
We have another 550 eggs going into the incubator for another hatch in 18 days. As you guys know, Blake's Exotic Feeders, we are not messing around. We wanna be able to supply as many people as we can. Birds, lizards, crocodilians, cats, any kind of animal that eats quail, we're gonna supply. So that's what we're gonna be doing here on the ranch. We're going big, you guys. We're not, we're not, we're not messing around at all. Super cool. Some water. Some water. Looking good, looking good. We still got some chirping right here. Some are going there. Oh, he's coming, look, he's halfway out. That's fine, let him stay. Little late bloomer. And you know what's crazy too, is just about every single one of these guys has hatched. I mean, um. Okay. Yeah, they're not dead, nothing's dead. All right, count them up, put them in. We'll close it up and we're gonna let it close for a couple hours and we'll check it again in a few hours. All right, so it's been about 24 hours now and just about, I would say, 90% of all of the quail eggs that we got off of eBay hatched out. We have about 312 of these guys in here. I think we started off with 350 eggs and this was a definitely good hatch right here. And then we also hatched out four guinea fowl. This is a pied and then a white one as well. We're gonna just start raising them up inside with the quails for now. These guys are doing absolutely amazing. This right here is going to be, these guys are two days old. So on our website for our feeder link part, on BlakeExoticAnimalRanch.com. At this size right here, it'll be one to three day old chicks that will be frozen in a bag. We'll have like a 25 pack, a 50 pack. And then on top of that, then we're gonna be doing a one week old to two week old for a small. Then we're doing one month old for a medium. Then our large is gonna be two months old. And then our extra large is gonna be three months old. So those are gonna be the five different sizes of quail that we'll have available for you guys on the website. Hopefully in about one month, we'll be able to supply as many people as we wanna supply or as many people that want to purchase from us. As you guys see, this is one of the ways we're gonna be raising our quail. And then starting soon, you guys are gonna see, we're actually working with another company. And we're getting a bunch of cages too from them. So you guys are gonna see that in upcoming videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. We're gonna clean out that incubator because it has a ton of cracked eggs. And we have another 600 eggs. This is a 300 hatch or 350 hatch. We have 600 eggs on the kitchen counter, ready to go into this incubator. And if this incubator does not have enough room, we have another backup one just like that to put right next to us. Then we can put 600, 600. We are not messing around, you guys. We're going to be hatching out a ton of quail so that we're able to supply as many people as we can around the United States. Only frozen birds. We're not giving you guys live birds. We might sell, not sure yet, if it, if it does good. We might sell eggs, um, hatching eggs, but that's it. Other than that, you guys, enjoy this video. This video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.